In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, God the Father Amen. Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For the intentions of the Pope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, yes. is now, and ever shall be, world without end. For a brief meditation on the joyful mysteries. The five joyful mysteries bring us into a very beautiful place in the church's life. As we go back into those Christmas mysteries, and Christmas and Advent, hold such a rich time in our lives. There is something that's very sweet about that time and something that's very tender as we draw close to the baby. There's something that's very precious about baby, something very tender, and it, it helps us to be a little bit more delicate and intentional, gentle. And we love the sweetness of Christmas. We look forward to that and so many of us, most of us, I think, have sweet memories of Christmas as children. And we think of the joyful mysteries immersed in that time of joy, that joy of new beginnings, that joy of new life, that joy of the sweetness of love, the tenderness of a baby, the joy of parents who are welcoming a baby into the world, uh, a baby who brings so much promise. Every baby brings so much promise this baby in a particular way the Christ child brings of course the most promise of all in fact every other promise is found in the promise that he brings us and the fulfillment that he brings us at the same time we know that the joyful mysteries are shot through with pathos they're shot through with struggle pain difficulty there are deep questions. Poor Mary. Mary, who had to make this decision. The angel appears to her. She has no idea what turn her life just took. At some level, she already knows what Simeon will prophesy, that her heart also will be pierced by a sword. To say yes to this and to be part of God's plan at this level is surely to experience suffering in one way or another. And so Mary... And the joyful mystery of the Annunciation is also wrenched in the sacrifice that she'll have to make, the difficulty that it'll bring to her and to Joseph, and the impossibility of raising God. 
Likewise, at the visitation, there is the joy of encountering Elizabeth, pregnant, who longed to have a child, and Mary bringing the child to Elizabeth. At the same time, there is the pain of the journey. There is the isolation of Elizabeth. Why was she up in the hill country? What was happening? And likely isolated at Ein Kerem, having been attacked and gossiped about, in her old age with no child and then with a child and what is this all about? But Mary enters into the isolation, into the desert. She finds the hidden one. As John of the Cross said and Therese loved to quote, we find the hidden one by becoming ourselves hidden. And so there are these qualities in the joyful mysteries, the sweetness of Christmas on the one hand and struggle, the darkness of uncertainty, difficult decisions, surrender, long journeys, and painful struggles. Likewise with the birth, of course, and the sweetness of that birth, where Jesus becomes present, there is also the pain of being in that place. Joseph never wanted to provide a manger for his bride. Was it a cold Christmas night? How did they feel rejected from one house after another? By Joseph's own family. It was Bethlehem, his ancestral home. And likewise, the presentation with the joyful revelation of Simeon. This is the one I've been waiting for. But the painful realization, a sign of contradiction. Likewise, the finding in the temple, which also starts with the losing in the temple. These are the sorrowful and joyful mysteries of St. Joseph as well. And these joyful mysteries which find a joyful resolve, which bring a joyful promise and are filled with hope, are also cut through with the realities of the life that you live and I live. And so let us take this opportunity in praying these joyful mysteries, truly to entrust our hearts to the Lord wherever we are, good, bad, or indifferent, struggling, happy, joyful, sad, hurting, hopeful, Wherever our hearts are, we can give them to Jesus through the intercession of Mary, together with St. Joseph, right now, in these joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. The angel Gabriel announces the Incarnation to Mary. The fruit of this mystery is humility. I'd like to offer this decade for the protection of the unborn. Let us begin with a meditation, Gospel of Luke in the first chapter. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at that saying and considered in her mind what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you shall call him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no husband? And the angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child will be born, will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your kinswoman Elizabeth, in her old age, also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her, whom she was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. 
Let it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, without world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us of our sins and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Our Lady Queen of Peace, pray for us. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Mary visits her cousin Elizabeth. Fruit of the mystery, love of neighbor. Our intention is for the conversion of hearts and minds, that all may welcome the elderly and the unborn, as Elizabeth welcomed the Blessed Virgin Mary. The scripture for meditation, Luke 1, 39-50. In those days Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country, to a city of Judah, and she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the babe leapt in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the voice of your greeting came to my ears, the babe in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, whom you carry to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, whom you carry to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus, whom you carried to Elizabeth. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Draw all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of your mercy. Pray for us, Mary, cause of our joy. 
that we may love our neighbors and bring Christ into their lives. The third joyful mystery is the nativity. Jesus is born in Bethlehem. The fruit of the mystery is poverty of spirit. Intention for this mystery is that we would all be effective witnesses to our culture of the value of every human life. I'll read Luke 2, 4 to 17. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the city of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. And in that region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying which had been told them concerning this child. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was born to you in Bethlehem. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Amen. Pray for us, Mary, cause of our joy, that out of love for Christ, we may detach our hearts from material things and the esteem of the world. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation. Jesus is presented in the temple. The fruit of the mystery is obedience. Our intention for this decade of the rosary is for the healing and restoration of all the broken places in our hearts, that we could become greater witnesses to the love of God. Scripture for our meditation is from Luke chapter 2, verses 22 to 35. And when the time came for the purification, according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and this man was righteous and devout, looking for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And inspired by the Spirit, he came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to thy people Israel. And his father and his mother marveled at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising of many in Israel and for a sign that is spoken against, and a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that thoughts out of many hearts may be revealed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you presented in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us of our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Pray, Pray for, for us, Mary, Mary cause, cause of our joy, that, that we may wholeheartedly obey Christ and, and his church. We'll be praying the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. For this decade, our intentions will be to pray for Courage International. Founded in 1980, Courage provides pastoral care for people who experience same-sex attractions and desire to live a chaste life, and through our Encourage chapters to parents and others whose loved ones identify as LGBT. For this decade, our intentions will be to pray for Courage and Encourage members and chaplains, as well as people who could benefit from the care that we provide. After searching for him for three days, Mary and Joseph find Jesus in the temple among the doctors, teaching and answering questions. The fruit of the mystery is piety. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it, but supposing him to be in the company, they went a day's journey and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintances. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, seeking him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when they saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. And he said to them, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying which he spoke to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. For this decade, our intentions will be to pray for courage and encourage members and chaplains, as well as people who could benefit from the care that we provide. We'll be praying the fifth joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. After searching for him for three days, Mary and Joseph find Jesus in the temple among the doctors, teaching and answering questions. The fruit of the mystery is piety. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it, but supposing him to be in the company, they went a day's journey and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintances. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, seeking him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when they saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. And he said to them, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying which he spoke to them. 
and his mother kept all these things in her heart. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and man. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, whom you found in the temple. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, cause of our joy, that we may will to seek, find, and embrace Jesus in the Mass and in the sacraments. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy, mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To, to thee do we cry for all our To thee do we send up our sighs mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, 
O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gosh, I was filled with joy praying with all of these great men and women who lead the church in uh, individual ways and in uh, broader ways. And just was thinking that tonight, um, all that gathered the cumulative effect of all of these works and all of these apostolic works and all of these ministries and all of these people praying together already affects millions of people, millions of Catholics, people around the world. What an honor, what a, what a humbling honor to be able to pray uh, on this night for all these beautiful intentions with all of these really remarkable lay religious bishops priests. Uh, very beautiful. Before we go, I want to mention a few things that you can check out. One is, if you were intrigued by the method they were praying, uh, you noticed there was a clause in the middle of each rosary. There we go. And that um, they had uh, the fruits and the mystery and prayers after each mystery and all of that. If you want to deepen your uh, prayer life in the rosary and really have the rosary draw you into uh, something that's well beyond what's normally prayed in terms of uh, our coming to union with God and contemplative graces. This book, uh, the Contemplative Rosary, is what uh, everyone was following tonight. Uh, 